Now I'm here to show you the melodic minor. Now it's a uh, 3E to be technical, but um, it starts right here on the G. I want that's where I'm gonna start with the G melodic minor scale. So it's one, two, um, flat three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, flat three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now I'm gonna tell you the notes. It's G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F sharp to G. I'm gonna play it for you. That's the G melodic minor right there. And um, so the G melodic minor is very, very good for um, altered dominant chords. Now, the actual technical definition of altered dominant chord, what I found out today in class, is um, it has to have three different um, alterations. It means that the, either the five, the five, the nine, and the thirteen has to be altered for it to be technically called an altered dominant chord. But as I found out, it, it just has one altered note in it. So uh, out of the dominant, like let's say if we have a, uh, a dominant sharp nine. Dominant seven sharp nine or dominant sharp nine, it would sound like this. Sharp nine right there, the Jimi Hendrix chord. If you start that in a jazz piece, um, for that section of music, if you just move the whole, if you just move just a half step higher, and start the melodic minor just a half step higher to D sharp or E flat, it will work out really really nicely. So that's what I found out from my teacher. So with that, peace, love, prosperity, and just joy and happiness.